What's up? <clears throat> so I just got that Prince book, The Beautiful Ones. Rest in peace, and it's hard to believe he's been gone three years. You know, so many things can be said about Prince. He was a complex cat. Had some interesting contradictions. And he dabbled with so many different things musically. And he created his own language and his own vibe. You know, he was truly something else. Uh, one of the greatest artists ever. Uh, one of the greatest live performers ever. And a man who truly had imagination. Um, you know, you... It was funny getting this book today. Because it was almost like closure to his life. There was music lives on. This was almost like closure. Because it was a Tuesday. And if you have a certain age and a certain time, buying a Prince record or getting his 12 inch singles back in the day on the Tuesday was like something like, wow. You know, it was a magical moment from the Warner Brothers Paisley era. You know, I'm more biased towards his 80s era, but I remember what that feeling was like. But anyway, to get his thoughts and reflections and how he grew up through the life, through his eyes. It was a very interesting book because he deals in areas that, even though it's brief and it was unfortunately tragically cut short to a certain era, you get enough to kind of get gauged into the way he saw it and thought about things. His humor, his, uh, his aura, you know, he definitely um, had a lot to say. Uh, he was very wise musically and he was very observant socially. He came in a lot of proximities. I like his honesty about the racism in the music industry in the sense that it made him not take it seriously, even though he was very much detailed with himself as a musician and as an artist. However, the politics and the racial aspect and what goes on in the business definitely, um, you know, shall we say, played itself out in a way which if you're from a certain era and a time period you can't justify what has become of the music industry especially if you are an artist who plays instruments writes composes arranges and is about the real art then business ain't for you and that was the reality that you know, sadly he faced in certain aspects. And then, of course, with all so much just goes on. So this was a very um, insightful book on one of the most important artists of the last century and whose work will go on for future centuries. Um, I have always had a love, low situation with his records because I like certain aspects, certain albums, certain eras. And I think that's one thing about Prince. He was the kind of guy, he was like a paint his own canvas. So if he threw something out there, some people gonna dig this, some gonna dig that, but you you left away with something. He didn't leave you without nothing. And uh, yeah, he was a musical genius and he's one of the greatest artists ever. And he, with the Minneapolis sound, you know, you got to give him his, obviously him, Andre Simone, Sonny Thompson, Alexander O'Neill, Morris Day, Jesse Johnson, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis. They get all that love. Um, shout out to Jill Jones for being inspirational. Denise Matthews, formerly known as Vanity. Susan Moonsey, Brenda Bennett. <clears throat> Much respect to his father, John L. Nelson, and his mother, because they're the foundation for the music. Um, all the different people, Dr. Fame, Bobby Z, you know, members of the revolution, but the people that were the core, when I mainly think about the core, I think about Andre Simone, Diz Dickerson, Morris Day, Sonny Thompson, those in particular. And I'll give Alexander O'Neill, I'll give those due, but the ones that were the core. And of course, Jimmy Jam, James Harris. It's a lot of great people, and it was a lot that was part of the process. Um, Peppy Willie, give him a shout out as well. All the people that had an impact, directly influential, uh, David Z, all of them. Claire Fisher with those strings, different things. All the people that you've enjoyed, 
the musicality, all the influences. Um, just very well prepared. I like the way this book flowed. And it's really heartfelt. You want to shout out to uh, Sheila E. You know, shout out to all the people that have been part of it. Because all of the people that were part of that purple community and people that were associated. You know, you have to like acknowledge. But also at the heart of it, there was a black man with vision, creativity, and a way of looking at things. And was going to do things his own way. And he wasn't just tied to a label or tied to a genre. He became a way of life as an artist, as a person, and his vision. And it wasn't about awards, even though that was nice. It wasn't about sales, though that was nice. He was leading the path. He was one of those artists that had it in his veins, in his soul, in his heart. And that this is what mattered at the end of the day. So uh, when you read Prince's The Beautiful Ones... He's a very soulful one, and uh, you respect him. You may not always agree with everything. However, you can't deny the man's talent. You can't deny his place in history, and you can't deny that he stood for what he believed in, no matter what the cost. Because, yes, he got whiteballed by the industry, but he, he still did things on his own terms. He thought and he stayed, he stayed consistent. His fight for the rights of artists and his fight for his own rights and what he thought and despite how you look at contracts and so on and so forth if you're an artist it should be about your work first and foremost and everything else will take care of itself so he painted his own picture and he brought that picture to life and people who were around to see it unfold were truly touched by a great creative force and source and that brother will be missed always that's my thoughts and takes about Prince's The Beautiful Ones book. Feel free to give me your thoughts and takes about Prince, your favorite albums, your moments, your concerts, songs, etc. I welcome the feedback. Feel free to subscribe. And I look forward to hearing from you. And when the bell rings, there's a new video. Peace and the best.